Hello and welcome to the channel. The Rolling Hall Progressives Congress APC has been accused of being responsible for the Peter O'B imposed toll that resulted in his being detained in the airport on Good Friday by British immigration. O'B has had to face being discredited almost on a weekly basis since contesting the elections that brought in the APC led Bola Ahmed Sinubu's impending regime. First was the leaked audio files, then came the threats of being imprisoned and pressured to leave the country, and now this. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. APC behind cloning of OB's identity. London Airport Detention, says POSN. A group of supporters of the Labour Party LP presidential candidate Mr. Peter Orby under the ages of Peter Orby support network POSN has accused Nigeria's ruling party, the whole Progressives Congress APC, of being behind the cloning of Orby's identity in Britain, culminating in his recent detention by UK immigration officers at Etro Airport in London. The group, in a statement issued yesterday and signed by FCC, on Wuasuanya Jones of its Directorate of Strategic Communications, expressed shock at the extent to which the APC government of President Muhammadu Buhari is determined to go in its bid to neutralize the influence of Obi, whom it sees as a nightmare and the main threat to its stolen presidential mandate. From spending billions of Naira paying lobbyists on sponsoring propaganda teams to the USA and UK, the Buhari-led APC government has now graduated to sponsoring a clone of Peter Obi in the UK in its desperation to demonize a man widely recognized as the conscience of the nation, POSN said. It's noted that the passport with which the fake Peter Obi obtained UK visa must have been issued by the Nigerian Immigration Service, NRS, or then it is instructive that the Nigerian government has remained silent on Obi's unwarranted Heathrow Airport ordeal, one full week after the regrettable incident. POSN said that though unfortunate, Obi's undeserved humiliation at Heathrow Airport has its positive sides. It provided Nigerians at the airport an opportunity to rise in defense of their hero, and they did so, for which we will eternally be grateful. It also has exposed the dirty anti or be scheming of the APC government, as the whole world now knows that whatever crime is committed by the fake Peter Obi has nothing to do with the one and only Peter Gregory Obi, always universally known and respected for his own impeachable integrity. POSN said. The group advised the Buhari-led APC government to stop wasting scarce resources seeking our beast downfall. Ah then, rather than be discouraged, this can only make our be more resolute in recovering a stolen mandate through the judicial process and in rededicating himself to the crucial task on helping to birth a new Nigeria, which of course is very much possible. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Meanwhile, the government of the United Kingdom has responded to Premium Times' letter requesting the details of the arrest and detention of the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Hobby by its immigration officials at Heathrow Airport in London last week. It, however, declined providing sufficient details about Mr. Obi's ordeal as requested by this newspaper in its reply through the Home Office. In a short reply on Thursday, the UK government said they do not comment on individual cases. We do not comment on individual cases, Chloe Newman, Senior Communications Officer, News Their Communications Directorate, stated in the reply on Thursday bothered about several unsubstantiated claims on social media over the issue. Premium Times wrote to the UK Home Office on 13 April seeking to understand the circumstances surrounding Mr. Obi's ordeals in the European country 
during Easter for accurate reporting. The Hobby Dirty Media, in a statement on Wednesday by its head, Divran Onifa Day, said Mr. Obi was detained in London by UK immigration officials over alleged impersonation. The statement did not, however, contain details of Mr. Obi's arrest on his subsequent release before returning to the country. Specifically, neither the UK government nor the LP in its statement gave clarification on Mr. Obi's offences, when and how he was released, the conditions upon which he was released, the current status of the case against him and other related issues. More so, while the party claimed in its statement issued on Wednesday that Mr. Obi was arrested over alleged impersonation, it failed to state the offences committed by the impersonator for which Mr. Obi was arrested, harassed and eventually detained before he was released. It also remains unclear if Mr. Obi was deported and if he still possesses a valid UK access visa at the moment following his last week's ordeal in London. A similar inquiry was also forwarded to Mr. Onifa Day but he has yet to respond at the time of filing this report. Meanwhile, the help he has denied media reports that the UK government had apologised to Mr. Obi over his arrest, detention and harassment at the London airport as claimed by his party in the statement. Mr. Obi has yet to speak on this ordeal in London. Mr. Obi was one of the 18 candidates in Nigeria's recent presidential election in which he came third. The Electoral Commission declared the candidate of the ruling All Progressives Congress APC, Bola Tinubu, winner of the poll with over 8 million votes against Mr. Obi's over 6 million votes. The HLP candidate and four others are currently challenging the outcome in court. Also, the leadership of the Apex Igbo Social Cultural Organization or Anenze Indigbo has condemned an alleged plot to implicate the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi in criminal acts in the United Kingdom. This is coming after the detention of the former Anambra State Governor by UK immigration officials over crimes committed by an impostor. Speaking about Peter Obi's embarrassing detention last week Friday, the acting president of Oanese Indigbo, Damien Okeke Ogene, said it was a ploy to silence Peter Obi. Ogene told Saturday Telegraph that the incident is a ploy to scuttle the moves by Obi and his running mates, Dati Baba Ahmed, to recover their mandate stolen from them at the February 25th general election. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.